Hello students. This video is my second video for the chapter Final Accounts of Companies. In my previous video, I have clearly explained the format of the statement of profit and loss. And in this video, I am going to tell you about the format of the company's balance sheet. But before you proceed to watch this video, I would like you to watch my previous video that is the video relating to the format of statement of profit and loss because usually we will prepare the balance sheet only after preparing the statement of profit and loss. So only if you are thorough with the format of the statement of profit and loss you will be able to understand the contents of this video better. Now I am going to tell you about the format of the company's balance sheet. Before I proceed to explain about the format of the company's balance sheet, first of all, you should know what a balance sheet is. That is, what is meant by a balance sheet. Balance sheet is a financial statement. What is a balance sheet? Balance sheet is a financial statement that summarizes the company's equity. What do you mean by equity? Equity means shareholders' funds, liabilities and assets. So, your balance sheet will give information about a company's equity, that is shareholders' funds, liabilities and assets. In other words, the balance sheet always shows what the company owns and what the company owes, O-W-A-S. Okay, I'll repeat. The balance sheet always shows what the company owns. So what do you mean by what the company owns? This will represent the assets and properties. Okay, this will represent the assets and properties. Let me repeat again. The balance sheet always shows what the company owns, that is the assets and properties and what the company owes. What do you mean by what the company owes? What the company owes exactly refers to the liabilities of the company. Okay, so this is what is basically a balance sheet. Now, the balance sheet is going to be prepared in a statement form. Earlier, we were preparing the balance sheet in a T form, that is in a horizontal format. On the left hand side, we'll be having something called as liabilities and on the right hand side, we'll be having the assets. But now, as per the revised schedule 6, we will be preparing the balance sheet in a vertical form that is in the format of a statement. So, you will be giving the heading for it. So, I am uh, explaining the format of the balance sheet. First, you will be giving the heading, balance sheet of whatever is the name of the company, the company's name will come here, okay. So, balance sheet of, for example, if the company's name is Good Luck Limited, balance sheet of Good Luck Limited, you will write as balance sheet of Good Luck Limited as on such and such date, whatever date is available in the problem that you will be writing, okay. So, you will not write as per revised schedule 6 to make you understand I have written this. So, how will you give the heading? You will give the heading as balance sheet of such and such company as on such and such date which will be given to you in the problem. Now, by watching this video, I want all of you to memorize the main items which will come under the heading equity and liabilities and under the heading assets. So, you will be having one main heading called as equity and liabilities and then there will be another main heading called as assets. As you know very well, a balance sheet you will say will be correct only if the total of the liabilities is the same as the total of the assets wherein we will say that the balance sheet tallies, okay. So, what is the first heading you have here? 
uh, actually uh, in the horizontal format you'll be saying uh, liability side and asset side but now it is going to be a statement format so you'll be having one heading main heading as equity and liabilities and the other main heading as assets okay so under the first main heading equity and liabilities three main items will come what are the three main items let us see now the first one we have is shareholders funds the second one we have is non current liabilities and the third main item which will come under the heading equity and liabilities is current liabilities okay so let us have a look at the format once again so as i told you earlier first you will have to give the heading heading is very very important so you will be writing balance sheet of such and such company as on such and such date okay as on such and such date then now uh, you will be having one main column where you will be recording the various items of liabilities and assets and you will be having one column for note number okay and one column for amount where the amount will be mentioned in terms of rupees okay in the note number column you will be preparing note for each and every sub item which is coming under the headings which we have in the balance sheet and the note will give you explanation okay so it will give you clear explanation regarding the various calculations which we made and the final amount only we will take to the balance sheet okay so when i explain to you about the sub items i'll be explaining more clearly about the note number right now let us once again see the main items which will come under the heading equity and liabilities under the heading equity and liabilities three main headings will come what are they shareholders funds non current liabilities and current liabilities the total of these three what are the three items we have here main items shareholders funds non current liabilities and current liabilities the total of all these three will be regarded as the total of equity and liabilities so what is this total this total is nothing but the total of equity and liabilities i want all of you to by heart these three items which will come under the main heading equity and liabilities okay you can just repeat it by yourselves what are the three items we have at equity and liabilities number 1 shareholders funds number 2 non current liabilities number 3 current liabilities okay with that equity and liabilities gets over then the second main heading we have is assets here the balance sheet is going to be in a statement form so liabilities will be straight away followed by assets so under assets we will have two main headings there is two main items one is non current asset what is the first one the first one is non current asset and you'll be having one more main item here and that is current asset so under the main heading assets you have two items two main items namely non current assets and current assets and the total of this non current asset and current asset will be regarded as the total of the assets of the balance sheet so what do you mean by the total here the total here represents the total of non current assets and current and current assets so you will find the total of non current assets and current assets and that will be regarded as the total of assets likewise 
I told you what will be the total of equity and liabilities, isn't it? What will be the total of equity and liabilities? The total will be the total of shareholders' funds, non-current liabilities, and current liabilities. Okay, so that will be the total of equity and liabilities. If these two totals are the same, if the totals of equity and liabilities and the total of assets are the same, then we will say that the balance sheet has tallied and then your answer will be regarded as correct. Okay. So these are the main headings which we have in the format of the company's balance sheet. Actually, I can tell you that memorizing the format of the company's balance sheet is much more easier than memorizing the format of the statement of profit and loss. Okay, so you can close your eyes and recollect all the main headings which will come under equity and liabilities. I told you three main headings. What are they? Shareholders funds, then non-current liabilities and current liabilities. And under assets, only two main headings are going to come. One is non-current assets and the other one is current assets. So the balance sheet is as simple as this. Hope you are clear with what all main headings will come in the format of the company's balance sheet. Under equity and liabilities, you will have three main headings, namely shareholders funds, non-current liabilities and current liabilities. The total of all these three will be the total of equity and liabilities. And under assets, you will have two main headings. One is non-current assets and the other one is current assets. The total of these two will give you the total of the assets. Okay. So I have given you information only about the main headings which will come in the company's balance sheet. Details about what will come under each one of these headings, I will very clearly explain in my next video. Thank you very much for watching this video.